Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can take a really cheap short bulk conditioner and add only two ingredients and I promise you what you get will shock you and I do hope that you keep on watching guys and you watch till the end of the video so you can get to see the result. Now if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your love and your support like you really mean a lot thank you so much if you keep coming back to watch my videos and if you're new here please please consider clicking that subscribe button to join the family i make lots of diy recipes for hair growth maintenance in general for all hair types so you definitely want to make sure that you are subscribed so let's hop right into the video so you are going to take your cheap um short bulk conditioner now i'm not going to show you guys which one i'm using here just because this video is not sponsored but any cheap short bulk conditioner will do. I bought this for like $1.99. And yeah, it was literally, it turned out to be amazing uh, by just adding these two ingredients, which we'll later on find out. So add as much conditioner as you think you will need um, for all your hair. Now you are going to go in next with some oil. Now this oil is my aloe vera oil that I made recently. I will link the video somewhere down here below guys. So if you have made this oil, you can just take it and just add um, a few tablespoons of this, just like you can see here. Now we are going to go in next with some honey. Honey is a natural humectant and this draws moisture from the atmosphere into your hair. So it is really, really extremely moisturizing and adding this to your cheap short bulk conditioner guys will definitely change the game. Now the thing about oil is that it just makes your hair very nice and smooth but it also does help with moisture and when I tell you just these two added to this cheap conditioner like the results are just super super amazing. So after you've done that guys you just want to go ahead and basically just stir it until it's nice and combined and that's pretty much it. <laughs> guys so here you have it it is pretty much nice and ready and i tell you this thing it is just amazing amazing you definitely want to keep on watching so in this next slide guys i'm going to show you how i use it on my hair so i'll suggest that you keep on watching now as you can see here my hair is very very dry and also it is really tangled at the bottom you cannot really um, tell but yeah that's what's happening right now it's really clunked up at the bottom because I did um, spray my hair with um, one of my uh, leave-in spray and you know uh, afro texture hair is when you spray it and you don't detangle it does tangos and also uh, it does tangos it does tango and also because I um I work out and I do sweat sometimes my hair tangles a lot at the bottom as well I did have a comment in um, my video previous to this where somebody actually asked whether I cut my hair now I didn't cut my hair guys it's just because it was just it was just tangled that's all um so I'm just going to be using this just to revive my hair. So it's going to be like a co-wash uh, routine. So co-washing essentially just means washing your hair with just conditioner and that just helps with moisture and also um, in retaining length over time. So essentially what I've done here, I've just finger detangled first, um, this little section, and then I'm just spraying it using um, my curry leaves and fennel seed uh, spray that I made recently. Um, I will link the video somewhere up here guys so you can sort of see it and also in the description box if you want to know how to make it. Um, so, But you can spray your hair with just water if you want to but I suggest that you use a spray that is actually beneficial for your hair like something that can stimulate hair growth and I have so many 
Kyle of Sprays on my channel that you can check out. And like I said, I will link this particular one. So essentially, after I sprayed it to my scalp, the rest of my hair, and got it nice and damp, I'm just going to take the conditioner and just work it through my hair. So I'm starting here for my roots, and I'm just going to work it through all the way to my ends. Now, can you guys notice that my grays are starting to come through? Those grays are starting to come through. Now, if you don't know, I dyed my grays recently actually not recently maybe like four weeks ago um and yeah it's still it's still okay but it's starting to come through essentially um but anyways so you just want to work that through and essentially after you're done you just want to go ahead and and trace and then move on to the next section pretty much Now, after putting the conditioner to my hair, guys, I felt as though it was still a little bit dry and I decided to sort of re-wet it. So, if you experience this, it's fine to just re-wet the hair um, and it will be absolutely okay. Okay guys, so I know someone is going to ask how often um, you should be co-washing your hair um, and I think I touched on this previously where I talk about um, how I shampoo my hair and then in between my sort of wash days I do deep condition um, and that's pretty much what co-washing kind of means so you're not actually using any shampoo to wash it but you're using conditioner whether it's like a homemade one or something like this to do it um, it is absolutely fine now I try to deep condition once a week sometimes twice a week if I'm really busy but as you can tell when I don't deep condition my hair in between it does get dry okay um, my hair gets dry it gets tangled and yeah it should, and it's just not good recipe for hair growth anyways so it's often better that you do co-wash between your wash days it just helps you retain moisture and essentially help with hair growth in general um so if you made it to this point of the video guys and you still haven't thumbs up please please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up it really really helps my videos out and also please um share the video subscribe if you're not already i would really really love to have you around um yeah i would really appreciate it Now the back of my hair has become so uneven um, from my recent um, salon visit um, because essentially what the hairdresser started doing was to try to blow dry my hair from the bottom like the back and essentially the side that she was working on has definitely lost so much length um, I thought I was going to show you guys in today's video and I forgot uh, maybe in my next video I'll show you how one side of my hair of my hair the back is longer than the other and that's basically just from you know my recent um hairdresser visit so essentially i'm not showing you guys how i'm doing the rest of my hair here because the video will be so long i'm gonna go off camera and finish it and this is what it looks like after it's all done and i used up everything that i made um i know someone's just gonna ask like can i store this i don't really know guys but you can try it out 
I often make exactly what I need so put a, a heat cap on or like a plastic bag and let it sit in your hair for about two hours and then go ahead and rinse it off and this is what it looks like it is just amazing really soft really shiny and I just loved it you definitely want to give this a go guys and if you do please please let me know what your experience was I would love to know if you had the same amount of moisture as I did this is literally like amazing and you definitely do want to try it out and I must say do not shampoo your hair after this guys so just rinse it off with just warm water and that's enough so thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in my next video bye